We're here with Frank again, and he's going to go over probably one of the most important part of the jump is the equipment. So uh, tell us a little bit about it. Um, one quick question. You guys only have just one shoe, right? Right. You don't have a, uh, a second one. No. So um, it's in one skydiving, time. you have to have a reserve. But in base jumping, we tend to open so low right. that uh, a reserve would only complicate the system. We wouldn't have time to, to deploy a reserve safely. Right. So uh, one parachute basically simplifies everything and makes it a, a much simpler operation. There's less parts, so it's much more reliable. Really? I think there'd be much more risk if uh. you just, I mean, you only have one chance. Correct. So, but your chance is better because there's only one. Oh, okay. Uh, adding anything more just complicates it. It's like more links in a chain. I see. Okay, terrific. So basically this yeah. is what we'd call a base rig. It's a single parachute uh, Velcro closed container. And uh, the way pretty much all parachutes are deployed is mm -hmm. with a pilot chute. You know, right. I have stowed right here. I throw the pilot chute out. Okay, so It I inflates help. and pulls the main parachute out of the container. Right. How much time do you have, like after you jump, usually how much time, from the time that you jump until you land? It depends on a number of things, like right. the altitude of the object, right. and the way you pack your parachute, right. and where you have to land, and the prevailing winds, and all the good stuff like that. Right. But um, generally we pack uh, a certain way to take about a three second delay, wow. and we can pack another way to take uh, an infinite number of seconds. You know. Awesome, that's terrific. Yeah. Do you pack your own shoot? Definitely always, always pack my own shoot, and I definitely always wear a helmet. It's a really good idea to wear a helmet. You'll either you'll either <laughs> learn by you somebody telling you, or sure. you'll bump your head and learn. Yeah. Either way, you'll end up wearing a helmet. Have you ever uh, fallen? Have you ever like taken a hard fall? I have actually been uh, pretty pretty fortunate, you know, good. and uh, haven't had any serious injuries. Patient. Excellent. That's excellent. So, anything else that we need to go over? It's time to jump. It's time to jump. Okay, so I think we're gonna climb, and then Frank finally gets to jump. How's it going, anything viewers? We're back here with Frank. We're gonna say a few more words and we're gonna watch him do his stuff. Um, what's it like sitting at the top of that tower, you know, 500,000, 2,000 feet off the ground and, and, you know, looking out over everything and hoping everything goes right? You ever get scared? Um, never actually get scared. I think there's a big difference between scared and controlled fear. Yeah. You always have controlled fear, but it yeah. makes you focused and aware of the significant issues yeah. at hand, as what opposed to what you're gonna have for dinner or exactly. things like that. So uh, you always have controlled fear. If you weren't, if you didn't have any fear, you'd be either crazy or, or stupid, yeah. yeah. But uh, that's why you do it. If it wasn't fearful, I mean, it would be really no yeah, fun. Yeah, it'd be like crossing the street. Exactly. Somebody over But it's, uh, it's really good, you get a real, uh, the anticipation is incredible. And yeah. It builds up and then just uh, as you step off, it's, uh, it's uh, peaking out really with excitement. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really good. Kind of fulfills everything. Um, where do you see the future of base jumping going? I mean, it's not a really accessible sport right now as far as you know, general public in the U.S. Right. Um, I think uh, the competitions and the events that, that we keep having, yeah. uh, we have legal days at places mm -hmm. and uh, there's an actual competition That's that permitted. tours around. Um, I think it'll really focus towards the legal sites as opposed yeah. to the uh, sneaking around doing uh, illegal jumps. Running from the cops and right. jumping more, and getaway more organized. vehicles. Yeah. Alright, we're going to send them up the tower. Um, Frank thinks he can land on a dime. A dime. So, uh, I don't know, we'll see. He wanted to put some money on it, but uh, we thought it wouldn't even be worthwhile because there's no possible way he's going to come close. Um, we'll judge the results afterwards. You'll see where he lands. It's right here. So, uh, we're going to watch him climb.
insert this three feet cap. The dime. Oh, good. Very nice. Close, but no cigar. Holy shit. So there. That was insane. Glad you liked it. That